Hey everybody, this is Tony, Tainted Lord A7, and here's part 22 of my CD collection. I have a whole bunch of CDs to get through, and I'm just going to talk briefly about them. So let's just go straight to it. The first four CDs are from the same band, and that band is Hatebreed, Perseverance, now, Hatebreed are like a hardcore metalcore band whose music and sound doesn't change too much. You kind of know what to expect, but they always deliver with each album. You, you can't go wrong with Hatebreed, in my opinion, and Perseverance is a sol solid album from them. Next up is Hatebreed, Supremacy, another Solid album from this band. Very good stuff. Next one is The Concrete Confessional by Hatebreed. Again, another solid album from this band. And the last Hatebreed album that I have is the Divinity of Purpose by Hatebreed. Like I said, Hatebreed has a very distinctive sound that is very recognizable on each album, and they never ever change the sound too much, but they always deliver, and you always know what to expect. And The Divinity of Purpose by Hatebreed is a solid, solid, awesome album from them, in my opinion. Okay, the next band is Helix in the album Back for Another Taste. Now Helix are a legendary Canadian hard hard rock heavy metal yeah, hard rock heavy metal band that's been going on since the late eighties, early nineties. But Back for Another Taste is a very underrated album. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. But if you're into hard rock and heavy metal, you gotta check this out. So, yeah, Helix, back for another taste. Okay, next one is Immolation, Atonement, a very, very solid death metal album. Um, Immolation never puts out a bad album, and you know what to expect from Immolation if you're into death metal. And Atonement is just another sought album in their discography. Very good stuff. Next one is Immolation, Close to a World Below. Again, another very solid death metal album from Immolation. Very good stuff. So, so if you're into some demonic evil sounding death metal definitely check out Immolation and, and the album Close to a World Below very good stuff and the next one is Immolation Here and After again another solid death metal album from Immolation Here and After is just a very solid album good stuff Okay, the next two CDs are from the same band. Yeah, the next two CDs are from the same band. The first one being Immortal, Pure Holocaust. Some fast, chaotic, in-your-face black metal from the early 90s. Very, very good stuff. So yeah, Immortal, Pure Holocaust. And the next one is Immortal, Sons of Northern Darkness. Again, another another fast, chaotic, heavy as hell black metal album from Immortal. Sons of Northern Darkness is just an excellent album from them. Okay, next one up is Jungle Watt and the album Order Shall Prevail, some very, very good death metal from Jungle Watt. 
a band that don't change their sound too much. You know what to expect, but they always deliver if you want some high quality, heavy, in your face death metal. So, yeah, Jungle Vaunt, Auto, Sh Auto Shell Prevail is a good album. Okay, next one up is Jungle Watt, Terror Regime. Again, another solid death metal album from Jungle Watt. You can't go wrong with these guys. Terror Regime by Jungle Watt is excellent. Okay, the next band I'm going to show off is Kalma. Yeah, Kalmar and the album 12 Gauge. Now, Kalmar are like a melodic death metal, power metal-ish sounding band that if you love children of boredom, Kalmar sounds similar to them, but not, not like ripping them off or anything. They just sound similar and they're doing their own thing. But this is some really good, good stuff. And 12 Gauge is an excellent album from Kalmar. Really heavy. And very keyboard driven, but good stuff. So, so yeah, Kelma, 12 gauge. Next one up is Kelma for the Revolution, another excellent album from these guys. Uh, next one up is Kalma, Palo. Yeah, Palo by Kalma. Another solid, solid album from these guys. Really good stuff. And the last Kalma album that I have is Swamp Song. Yeah, Swamp Song by Kalma. Um. This album was actually my first introduction to Kalma, and what an introduction. This album is just fast, heavy, and aggressive, and very keyboard driven, key keyboard driven, but it's some very good riffs on this one. So yeah, Kalma, Swamp, Swamp Song is an excellent album. Definitely check out this album if you haven't. Okay, the next band I'm going to show off is Kill Switch Engage Atonement, a very good metalcore album from from this band. But Kill Switch Engage, you kind of know what to expect, and to me, I don't really care who's the vocalist in this band. I just care about the riffs, and Kill Switch Engage delivers those riffs. And Atonement is a great, great album. Love it. Okay, next one up is um, Kill Switch Engage. Yeah, Kill Switch Engage, Dishon the Descent. Another solid metalcore album from these guys. Very good stuff. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one up is. Incarnate by Kill Switch Engage. Uh, again, another solid metalcore album from these guys. They never, well, from the ones I've heard, they've been a consistent band, and Incarnate is just another solid album in, in their discography. Very, very good album. Definitely check out Kill Switch Engage Incarnate. Good stuff. Okay, the last Kill Switch Engage album that I have is The End of Heartache by Kill Switch Engage. Um, this album is special to me because this album was my first real introduction to Kill Switch Engage, and this is an excellent, excellent, flawless album. Very melodic, heavy, and catchy as hell. Really, really enjoy this one. So, yeah, The End of Heartache by Kill Switch Engage is excellent. And my personal favorite.
Okay, the next the next few CDs are from the same band. The first one being Lacuna Coil and the album Black Anima. A very good gothic metal, goth rock album. And definitely a very, very good album, in my opinion. So, yeah, Lacuna Coil's Black Anima. Uh, Lacuna Coil's Broken Crown Halo. Uh, this album, on this album, I feel like Lacuna Coil kind of played it safe. And definitely sounds like it, it's more um, mediocre, more um, radio friendly. But it's, it has a couple of good songs on it and it's hardly a horrible album. It's just don't expect this album to be super heavy. It's decent. It's okay. Not bad. Lacuna Coil's Broken Crown Halo. Okay, next one up is Lacuna Coil's Carmelize. This is a perfect gothic metal album in my ears. Just everything about this album, that moody, sad atmosphere, is done very well on this album. And like I said, it's a perfect gothic metal album in my opinion. Very, very good. Lacuna Coil's Carmelize. Uh, Lacuna Coil's Dark Adrenaline. Um, uh, Sound-wise, I feel like this is the heaviest they've ever sounded, in my personal opinion. Of all the later Lacuna Coil albums, um, before Black Anima, I feel like this album was definitely the most heaviest sounding to my ears. But yeah, this is an excellent album from Lacuna Coil. Uh, Dark Adrenaline. Dark Adrenaline by Lacuna Coil is a very good album, in my opinion. <clears throat> and the next one up is Lacuna Coil, uh, Delirium. Delirium? Um, this is probably like the second heaviest after Dark Adrenaline. And and I feel like this is a bit of a return to form for them, you know, just very, very heavy and it's just a very good album. So yeah, Lacuna Coil's Delirium, uh, good stuff. Uh, next up is Lacuna Coil's Karma Code. Now this album... Has, it's a slight change from the gothic metal sound to more of a rock sound, but I think this is still a pretty good album. Um, you can tell this band was just cashing in on the popularity, but for what it is, it's still a good album. I enjoyed it, so yeah, Lacuna Coil's Karma Code, a pretty good album overall. And the last Lacuna Coil album that I have is... Okay, the last one I have is... Unleashed Memories by Lacuna Coil. Yeah, Unleashed Memories by Lacuna Coil. Another perfect gothic metal album to my ears. I have absolutely no... No problems with this one. To me, it's just flawless. So, yeah, just a... Excellent gothic metal album from Lacuna Coil. Unleashed Memories by Lacuna Coil. Okay, the next four CDs are from the same band. Uh, the first one being Lamb of God, Ashes of the Wake. A really excellent groove metal album from Lamb of God. Heavy and aggressive. Really good stuff. Lamb of God's Ashes of the Wake.
uh, Lamb of God, Lamb of God's self-titled album. Um, 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 I think this is a pretty good album. Maybe not as mem not as memorable as Ashes of the Wake, but still a pretty good album. Still really heavy, and I enjoyed it. So, yeah, Lamb of God's self-titled album. Okay, next one up is Lamb God's Old Man, which I think is definitely an improvement over the self titled album. Just very heavy and fast groove metal that doesn't hold back on its aggression. Very heavy, very aggressive, and at times can be pretty damn brutal, admittedly. But yeah, Lamb of God's Old Man's. And the last Lamb of God album that I have is Sacrament by Lamb of God. A very solid groove metal album from Lamb of God. Good stuff. Okay, next CD I'm going to show off is Malakash Emissaries. A very good Middle Eastern influence um, metal album. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot more to say about it because it's been quite a while since I've listened to this one, but I remember it being very good, very heavy, and I really love the whole Middle Eastern influences on this album and the music overall. So, yeah, Malakash Emissaries. And Malakash, Enki. Inky, Enki, however you pronounce it, another solid Middle Eastern influence metal album from Malakash. Really good stuff. So yeah, this is Enki, Inky, or however you pronounce it, by Malakash. Okay, next one up is Morse Precipium Est, Dawn of the Fifth Era. If you love some Finnish melodic death metal that's fast and heavy, you can't go wrong with this band. Morse Precipium S, Dawn of the Fifth Era is just an excellent melodic death metal album. Really good stuff. Next one up is Morse Precipium S, Ambers of a Dying World. Again, another solid melodic death metal album from these guys. Very, very good stuff. So, yeah, Morse Precipium S, Ambers of a Dying World, excellent melodic death metal. And the last, and the last CD I'm going to show off in this collection is Mushroom Head Double X. Some good alternative metal, industrial metal, and a bit of new metal album. Um, pretty decent stuff. I, I enjoyed it. And yeah, some really good alternative metal, industrial metal, new metal uh, from the early 2000s. So yeah, Mushroom Heads, Double X. And that's it, everyone. That's part 22 of my CD collection. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And look forward to CD collection part 23 when that happens. Take care and see you next time.